Okay, so I did the, oh, hi ho my peeps. <laughs> All right, so I did the haul of my grocery store stuff, and now I want to show you um, the stuff I got to make a care package for my mom. So first of all, I found this absolutely darling laser cut looking little box. I saw a lot of this kind of thing at Daiso. It's the first time I've ever seen these really pretty ones at Dollar Tree. So in this plastic box, I'm going to put a bunch of junk. Um, I'm going to use some of this pretty springtime looking uh, tissue paper down in it. My mother loves Dutch iris, so I found this little spray of Dutch iris. I'll put it down in there as well. Um, okay, this is a little kitty cat, a little white kitty cat looking thing. Um, I'm going to give this to my mom because my mother is getting a cat, finally. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to go to the Cat House on the Kings to get a, a rescue cat there, or the SPCA, or I might possibly actually get her a cat that's a special breed called a ragdoll. The ragdoll cats are big cats that um, have kind of long fur. They kind of, a lot of them have like a Siamese sort of marking, and they are um, very friendly. They're called ragdoll because when you pick them up, they go limp. Um, they also call them puppy dog cats because they like to play fetch and they will follow you around the house. So they sound like a really wonderful breed. Um, I tend to think more in terms of rescue animals. However, getting a bre this breed from my mom might, might make sense. So I'm not sure yet. Um, so anyhow, she's, I'm going to tell her the story of her new cat and give her a reason to want to get up and do some physical therapy so she can go home and play with her new kitty. So this is going to be her stand-in. Um, she, I got some of these eye patches. I think that might be fun for us to do eye patches together. Um, I got her her own little olive green towel and washcloth set, which I'm going to wash before I put them in the little bo uh, bag. I got her a couple of little makeup bags that I'll put some of this stuff in. I got... Okay, so you know that I got my pedicure. Well, she hasn't gotten one in a long time. I don't know when she's going to get one. So I'm got, I got all the stuff to do a pedicure. I got the pure acetone and then the gentler formula of the uh, nail remover. I got little pads for her, um, you know, little cotton pads. Um, I got some, this little thing with the toe separators and the glittery pink. And a... A little manicure set. This is more for fingernails, but I thought that was cute in the glittery silver glitter. And then I'll, I'll also bring her toenail clippers as well, so I'll deal with her feet that way. And then I got this um, LA Colors in this kind of, oh, it's like a satiny pink color. And then I got this kind of confetti to go over. I thought that looked real springtime, so she'll like that. So we're ready to do some toenails. Then I also, <laughs> I got some hair stuff to put her hair back with. Just a little hair band and some clips. And I got her some makeup. I've heard this LA Colors liquid makeup is really good. So we're going to give this a try. I'll be bringing some little beauty blender stuff and um, a little kabuki brush with me too. So we can do a nice finish on her face. Plus I will be sharing my happy blush that I got, thanks to Leanne, uh, with her as well. And then I'm bringing the this adorable palette that was given to me by um, Matronista. I'll be putting that in with her stuff. Um, I used the adorable palette on her a couple of times and it does look adorable, so that's going to go in her stuff. Then I'm going to have some makeup wipes. I got some fun little, you know, ribbon curls to kind of decorate the box with and some hand sanitizer because she is in a sort of a hospital situation so she doesn't have any of this in her room so now she does but here's the funniest part so grant and i were going in to visit her tonight and we we met up with my sister who was coming out we stopped in the parking lot and chatted and my sister was kind of laughing she says oh she says mom is just as mad as a wet hen i said really she says yes the thing that's got her most bugged is that she's got 
um, hair on her chin. My mother is one of those ladies that always makes sure that there's no hair on her chin. She's always made up, you know, she never, she would never go out looking furry, right? Well, it's been so long since she's been able to, you know, really take care of her face and stuff. So she's got this kind of furry chin. So I bought her some Raspberry Mist, uh, the Pure Silk uh, Shaving Cream, and these really, really good uh, Dollar Tree um, razors. I mean, I would like to take her and have like a, you know, have it waxed or whatever, but I can't take her out of there, so I'm just going to let her shave it off. So, number one, we're shaving off the the facial hair. Number two, we are taking care of the pterodactyl toes. <laughs> so, that should be fun. That should help her feel more human. Um, yeah, so, that is my haul for my mother's care package. And I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Oh, wait, I'm back. Grant reminded me of something. All right, so I was in talking to her tonight, right before I sat down to read, um, read to her for a little while, and her roommate, I could see her roommate out the corner of my eye, and she's motioning me over, so I go around the curtain, and the roommate whispers to me, she says, Cheryl, she says, I know I'm probably breaking like a roommate code or something, but I just have to tell you this. I said, what? She said, Earlier this afternoon, your mother was lying there in bed, you know, like she does, not doing anything, not watching TV. And all of a sudden, I hear her say, <coughs> she says, oops, I got my battery thing going. She says, that goddamn Cheryl, I'm going to kick her ass for putting me in this place. <laughs> so Dory and the roommate just hell she thought that was absolutely hilarious and she couldn't wait for me to come in so she could tell me about it so there you go i guess my mother's feistier than i thought she was <laughs> bye